Oh, oh, sweet. Okay, that's sick. Oh yeah, <laughs> these are nice. Yeah, yeah, I want to wear these right now, bro. I ain't gonna cap. That's good. Bro, that's all. I mean, that looks just identical. Yeah, that's my grandma. She had passed away from cancer here recently. Actually, the day I got drafted, I was at her funeral, so this means a lot to represent her. You know, she's looking down on me and uh, smiling, and uh, man, I miss her. And, uh, I love you, Grandma. I chose the Michigan Heroes Museum. Their goal is to honor, remember, and respect those in the state of Michigan that have given everything. You know, the sacrifice that people have made, especially in Michigan. They have the largest Medal of Honor recipient collection in the uh, in the world, I believe. You know, making sure that those folks feel remembered and appreciated. My cause is a farm, which stands for Family Assistance for Renaissance Men. I've been working with Mr. Bell for a few years now, and I'm so proud of the work he's done within Detroit with fathers and men, just teaching them, you know, life skills and habits and all kind of things to make them better men. Mr. Bell, these are for you. Farm, this is for us. I'm proud to be a mentor of Farm, proud to represent. My cause is my sister's nonprofit, which is called Project Empower. Essentially, Project Empower is a program that teaches self-defense, it teaches yoga, it teaches meditation to survivors of human trafficking. So, you know, women who are in these safe houses who are recovering mentally and physically for all the things that happen to them. And so on these cleats is the mantra word OM, that's in Sanskrit, and doesn't necessarily signify the nonprofit, but it, it signifies what it's all about. I'm doing it for my mom. She died when I was nine years old to pneumonia. Just ready to go out there and put these things on, you know, so she can help me get an interception, you know, perform re uh, real good. So I love you, mom, and this for you. The cause is called Give Kids the World. It's an organization that helps kids that suffered uh, from childhood cancers, really, and sends them to Disney and tries to do things to help support the family and kind of bring some happiness to their life. This is in honor of my niece, Colby, who had a Wilms tumor and she was a child. And this is an organization that supported her. I was very much appreciative to that cause and grateful to have the opportunity to give back. Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. I have a cousin who I admire a lot. He was affected, but he has persevered tremendously. I mean, he's had surgeries being sick, all kind of things. He took that as an opportunity to like further himself, man. So this dude's got all kinds of degrees and certificates. I mean, he's balling. Send me, man. Thank you for your inspiration, man. Proud of you, um, admire you, respect you, um, love you. And I'll be honored to be where it is to represent Crohn's and Colitis and represent the work you've done so far, man. My cause was gun violence. I went to the University of Buffalo, which they detailed here, and they just had the top shooting there. You know, I just came from Philadelphia, the Eagles, another city where there's a lot of gun violence going on with, you know, kids and stuff like that. So I think it's important to always keep this at the forefront of people's thoughts. I chose I Know Jack. It is a local nonprofit that benefits families of cancer patients patients in the hospital, gives them creature comforts with jack packs and that sort of stuff. My wife and I got to know Jack and his family and throughout the process kind of fall in love with the family and uh, the cause and it's just a wonderful opportunity to give back to the community that both me and my wife are from. So I did uh, American Diabetes Association. My dad's got type 1 diabetes. Got his first name and uh, middle name, Bradley Ross. Then he's got a tattoo on his shoulder. So if he ever has an episode, they can take his shirt off and see that he's type 1 diabetic. Man, yeah, these mean a lot to me. Really appreciate it. These are sweet. So my cause uh, for this year's My Cause, My Cleats, is the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. My father was a firefighter and paramedic for over 25 years. Uh, I couldn't even imagine individuals uh, who have lost other loved ones in the line of duty and just wanted to play them a small parts to a cause that's really near and dear to my heart. I'm excited to rock these bad boys uh, this week. Should we laugh on? My sisters and their sorority, they work with this foundation, the Pink Pearl Foundation, just big community service work, and really more so for unfortunate young ladies. They do balls for them, tutoring. I think it's very impactful, the community work, but then how involved my sisters are in it. So to support them and everything that they do with that foundation is unbelievable, man. When they see this, they're, they're gonna be fired up about this. Yeah, so I chose a foundation called the Big Man Foundation. It's an organization that supports coaches and their families who have went through tough times, whether it may be, you know, illness, injury, a lot of other things with anything to do with the family, so that's why I chose the cause. It's uh, Orchard's Children's Services, and I chose it because I got firsthand experience with adoption and foster care, so it really kind of touched me. What I love about them is just the fact that they help not only the children, but the families as well, because I know how difficult that process can be sometimes, so I just thought it was really cool how they care to both sides.